Get 25 professionally designed and animated news broadcast templates in two design styles with Stupid Raisins News Pop. News Pop was created exclusively for Final Cut Pro. You can find it in the Titles browser under News Pop. Included is everything you need for a news package, whether you're delivering to broadcast or to social media. The presets are broken up into two different styles, so you can pick one and keep your design the same throughout, or mix and match if you'd like. I've got some news footage on my timeline. Let's start with an opener. I'll go with Style 2 for this project, and I'll drag Opening Title 2 to my timeline. Scrubbing through, I can see that there are five drop zones for video I can load up. Let's do that first. I have my five clips edited and placed in compound clips. To load up drop zones quickly, click the first drop zone, select the first clip in the browser, and then click its title. Next, click the second drop zone, the second clip, and its title. Repeat with all the clips, and then click Apply Clip. I can further adjust the zoom and position within each drop zone. Each drop zone has corresponding text. I'll customize each of those as well. At the top of the parameters, I can change the look of the animated gradient bars that appear over the graphic. Next, let's load up the text for the news ticker at the bottom. I have font, size, and color controls. Plus, I can adjust the animation position if my text is longer or shorter than the default text. I can add a drop shadow to the animated elements. Let's load up a logo for the top right. This looks great. The intro presets transition out, so I can lift it from the storyline and place it above the beginning of our next clip. The second clip is a talent over green screen. Let's drop background two beneath the talent. I'll turn off the build-in animation since we're using the transition from the opener. I'll customize the look of the background to our branding. Included are two drop zones for background images. I'll turn off the second drop zone, but leave the first. The default image of the world map looks good for my channel as well. I'll adjust the scrolling text behind the talent and drop its opacity a bit. I'll drop the Logo Bug 2 preset on top of everything, load up my logo, and customize the text and colors of the title on the left. To finish this scene, let's drop Ticker 2 on top and customize the colors, ticker text, and URL as needed. I'll quickly finish up this timeline by going to the next clip, a reporter interview. I'll add Lower Third 2 to the clip and customize it like before. A cool bonus set of effects included in News Pop are the disguisers. Let's make the interview subject anonymous by adding the pixelate effect. I'll put the tracking square over his face and click the track forward button. Now I can position the effect over his face and his anonymity is guaranteed, even if he moves. I just created a complex, graphic-rich news sequence in minutes that would have taken me hours to create by hand. Stupid Raisins News Pop is a must-have set of graphics for anyone creating content for news broadcast or news-style projects for social media. Try out a wide range of great audio and visual effects at fxfactory.com.